What's up guys? Welcome to today's full body stretch. Today I'm going to be guiding you through a stretching sequence to target the entire body, hopefully to make you feel nice and relaxed and loosened up. You're going to need an exercise mat or a soft surface to work on. All you need to do is follow along. We're getting started right now. So we're just gonna start standing on our mat, taking a nice big inhale, reaching those hands up overhead, and then exhaling as you fold forward, letting the arms and head hang nice and heavy. Once again, inhale, reaching up overhead, and exhale, folding forward. Feel a nice stretch through the back of those legs and the lower back. One more time here, inhale, reaching up, and exhale, release a little shoulder shrug at the top here to loosen up those shoulders, the neck and the back. We're gonna clasp those hands behind the back, pressing down, bringing the shoulders down away from the ears. Feeling this pulling through the shoulders and through the chest. You may wanna throw in a little head roll or bring the chin towards the shoulder. Whatever feels right for you, make sure you're listening to your body. Don't do anything that feels painful or uncomfortable. Just work at your own pace. Connecting with your breath, taking some nice inhales and exhales through the nose. On your next exhale, you're gonna fold forward and if it feels okay on your shoulders, bringing those hands away from the back, letting gravity Drop the hands forward, feeling a nice release in those shoulders and in the lower back. And as you exhale, you're gonna slowly make your way back up to the top, bringing the head and chin up last. All right, we're gonna get into some lower body stretching here. So grabbing onto that left ankle, we're gonna extend the right arm up to the sky, working a little bit on our balance. Keeping the core nice and engaged, and if you're feeling comfortable with your balance, we're gonna get a little deeper into the stretch. As you exhale, hinging forward, keeping the standing leg straight without locking the knee. Trying to get the body as parallel to the ground as you can while maintaining control. Awesome. And let's do the same thing on the other side, this time reaching for that right ankle. Left arm extends up to the sky, core is tight. And again, only if you're feeling comfortable, you're going to get a little deeper by hinging forward, getting a nice stretch through that right quad. Belly buttons pulled to the spine for support here and back up to the top. Nice work guys. We're gonna come into a nice wide stance here, hands coming onto the hips. We're gonna shift our weight over to the right. You should feel a nice pull through the left side on that inner thigh. Make sure you're pushing the hips backwards. You don't want that right knee to pass in front of your toes. Keeping the weight shifted into the heels. And then we're gonna shift sides, getting into that left hip opening up through the right inner thigh. And we're just gonna shift back and forth a couple times here. Again, make sure you are breathing. Don't hold your breath here. We need oxygen flowing through those muscles. And remember to work at your own pace. Only go as low as you can. There should be no pain or discomfort. Coming back to center, we're gonna slowly drop the head towards the ground. You wanna keep those legs as straight as you can. Really feeling a pull through the hamstrings, the inner thighs, and feeling a release in that lower back. And we're gonna slowly make our way out of this position, heel toeing the feet together just slightly, and then shifting to the right. We're gonna keep both legs straight here and just shift our weight from front to back, keeping the legs as straight as you can, alternating, pressing one heel down to the ground. 
And this again is gonna target the back of those legs, the calves, the hamstrings. And if you're tight like me in these areas, you are going to feel this. All right, we're gonna drop that left knee down, coming into a lunge here, bringing the arms up overhead, slight back bend as you inhale and then exhale, coming to center. We're gonna reach those arms forward, reach, 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 and then pulling back, pull the shoulder blades together. So inhale, reaching forward, exhale, come back, squeeze the shoulder blades. And again, inhale, reach, getting nice into that front right hip, and then exhale, pull back, squeeze the shoulders. Left hand's gonna drop down to the ground and we're gonna open up to the right, bringing those right fingers up to the sky. Taking a nice big breath here. And then switch, right hand comes to the ground, left hand opens up to the sky. Keeping the core engaged, belly button to the spine. Exhale, both hands to the ground. Good, sitting back up tall here. We're gonna grab on to that left ankle. I know this move can be challenging if you're tight in the hamstrings or the hips, or sometimes it feels uncomfortable on the knee. You can always roll up your mat or add a towel underneath your knee to add a little comfort. Or if this position just doesn't feel right for you, you can just stay in that lunge position and continue to sink into the hip. And release. Get both hands to your mat. We're gonna step back, coming into a downward facing dog, slowly pedaling out the feet one at a time. Pressing the heels down. You're pulling the chest towards the upper thighs. And breathing, keeping the core engaged, feeling a nice stretch through the shoulders. We're gonna switch sides here. So our left foot's coming forward now. Both legs are straight and we're just shifting the weight back and forth. Now let's drop that right knee down to our mat. Sit up nice and tall, slight back bend at the top. Inhale and exhale. And we're gonna reach forward now. And then exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, find length through those arms. Exhale, pull back and squeeze. One more time. Reach as far as you can and exhale, pull back and squeeze. Good, right hand comes to the ground as we open up to the left, fingertips up to the sky. Taking some nice big breath in and out through the nose. On your next exhale, we're gonna switch. Left hand comes to the ground, right hand up to the sky. Try and keep those shoulders stacked. And exhale, release. Okay, getting into that right quad stretch again if it feels comfortable for you. Wanna make sure your left knee is stacked over the left ankle. Shifting the weight forward just slightly to get into that left hip and then focusing on the pull through that right quad. And I'll say it one more time, don't push yourself. If something's not feeling right, listen to your body and slow things down. Good, both hands down, we're gonna press back into that down dog once more. Pedaling out the feet, drawing the chest towards the upper thighs, keeping the hips lifted. On 
On your next inhale, you're gonna kick that right leg up to the sky. And then exhale, bring it forward. We're gonna come into a half pigeon. This is probably one of the most challenging stretches for me as I am very tight in my hips and my glutes. So listen to your body, find a level that works well for you. The goal here is to keep that right shin parallel with the front of your mat. Making sure that you're not clenching the glutes, you wanna relax, relax the stomach, relax the glutes, relax the neck and the head, and just breathe into the hips. When you're ready, you're slowly and gently gonna press up out of this position into that down dog. Pedal it out. And then on your next inhale, left leg comes to the sky, exhaling. Coming forward into that pigeon pose on the other side. Same thing, take it nice and slow. Listen to your body. And with each exhale, you may feel you can get a little deeper into this stretch. Remember to relax the glutes, relax the belly, and just breathe. All right, slowly making your way from this position back into that down dog. Pedal it out. Then we're gonna shift our weight forward, coming into a high plank, and then slowly lowering down to the mat. Tenting our fingers and pressing up into that cobra or upward facing dog, whichever you prefer, and release. Kicking the heels a few times here towards the glutes, loosening up those hamstrings. And then when you're ready, we're gonna reach back, grabbing onto those ankles. You're gonna take a nice big inhale, kick those feet up towards the sky, bring the gaze upward, opening up the chest, opening up through the shoulders. Taking a nice big inhale and then exhaling and release. Staying in control. A few more kicks here towards the glutes and then we're gonna do that movement again. One more time, reaching for those ankles. And when you're ready, kicking up, maybe coming up just a little bit higher this time. And then exhaling and releasing back down. That's it, we're gonna press back here into child's pose and then shift the weight forward, drop the hips. Continuing with this back and forth rocking motion a few times. As you come back, sinking nice and deep into those hips, drawing the chest towards the ground. And then coming forward, dropping the hips, bringing the gaze upward. Moving now into some cat cows. We're gonna inhale as we round the spine, bring the chin to the chest and tuck the tailbone. And exhale, lifting our gaze upward, arching in that lower back. Working at your own pace here and working with your breath, finding movement through the spine, pressing the hands down into the ground, Freestyling your cat cow, however you wish, doing what feels right for you. 
Going now into a little bird dog, opposite arm and leg, extending at the same time, feeling an engagement in our core. We're just gonna switch sides here a couple times, finding length through those limbs, finding balance, pointing those toes and really reaching the fingertips forward. You wanna make sure your belly button is pulled to the spine. Nice, neutral, flat back. Good, widening up those knees. We're gonna press back now into a nice, deep child's pose. And then walk our hands over to the right side of the mat, getting a nice stretch through the left side body. Make sure you keep that left hip down. You may wanna pop up a little bit here. Take some nice big belly breaths. And then when you're ready, walking the hands over to the left side of the mat, same thing. Press that right hip down. Feel a nice stretch through the right side. And then coming back to center. We're gonna flip over here, coming into a seated position. Crossing the right foot over the left knee, you're gonna sit up nice and tall, twisting to the right, gazing over that right shoulder. And then we're going to switch sides. Right foot comes over the left leg. Sit up nice and tall, exhale as you twist to the left, gazing over the left shoulder. And that's it, coming back to center, slowly rolling yourself back. We're gonna Roll like a ball here a few times, keeping your movement nice and controlled, keeping your core engaged. A gentle rounding of the spine. This is a nice release on that spine and back. Make sure you're staying in control. And on the last one, we're just gonna slowly roll all the way down to our backs. Keeping the knees bent, we're gonna bring our arms into cactus pose, and then just gently rock the knees side to side. Letting gravity do most of the work here, dropping the knees just as low as they'll go naturally. Trying to keep the shoulder blades on your mat. Working with your breath, inhale as you drop the knees, exhale as you bring the knees to center. Now we're just gonna draw those knees into the chest now. Give yourself a little love, a little hug, maybe a gentle rock side to side. And then into our happy baby or dead bug. Bringing the feet out nice and wide, grasping onto the bottoms of the feet, gently pulling down, bringing the knees closer to the armpits. This will look different for each individual depending on your mobility, flexibility. Just focusing here on your breath with each exhale, sinking a little bit deeper into this stretch. That's it, moving now into figure four. We're gonna cross the right ankle over the left knee, drawing that left thigh towards us. We wanna try and keep the head, the neck, and the shoulders on the mat during this stretch. So we're gonna lengthen that right leg up to the sky here, grabbing onto the thigh or maybe the calf or the ankle. Just gonna point and flex the toe, releasing tension in the calves and in the ankles. And release a little tug of that knee in towards the chest. And then we're gonna slowly cross that knee across the body and bring our gaze over to the right. OK, 
can apply a little bit of pressure with your left hand onto that knee, but again, you wanna let gravity do most of the work here. And release, coming back to center, hugging those knees in one more time. We're gonna go the opposite direction. So figure four, left ankle over the right knee, hugging that right thigh into the chest. Feeling a nice release through the hips and the glutes. If you find it challenging to reach for the thigh, you can always use a strap or a towel to wrap around your thigh and help you guide that thigh closer in towards you. Good, straightening out that leg now. Releasing tension in the ankles and the calves, pointing and flexing the toes. You can keep the other right leg either bent or stretched out, whichever feels right for you. And release, little tug in. Take a nice big inhale and then exhale. Bring that knee across the body, slowly bringing the gaze over to the left. Get a nice twist in that lower back. And we're gonna slowly come back to center here. One more time, hugging the knees into the chest and then releasing, dropping the feet to the ground. We're gonna keep those knees bent. Going into a bridge, you're gonna take a big inhale and then as you exhale, drive through the heels, lifting the hips, squeezing the glutes at the top, belly button to the spine. And then inhale, release. Okay, let's do that. Again, slowly rolling through the spine, lifting the hips, squeezing the glutes at the top of this movement. You're driving through those heels. Now you can do one more like that, or if you feel comfortable going into a wheel, whatever is part of your practice, go for it. Just listen to your body, guys. Slowly releasing, coming back flat on our backs and hugging those knees in, feeling release in that lower back. We're gonna come up to seated position here one more time. Sitting cross-legged, grabbing the left wrist behind the back with the right arm and then you're slowly gonna tilt your head to the right. This is gonna feel really nice in that left shoulder, the left trap, and the neck. Just take some nice big breaths here, gently tugging on that left arm. And then we're gonna switch sides going the opposite direction. Little tug on the right arm, head tilts to the left, releasing any tension left in the neck and the shoulders. And then pressing the palms forward, rounding out the back, scooping the belly, draw the chin to the chest. Nice big inhale here, and then exhale, release. All right guys, this is my favorite part. We're gonna lay down. It's time for a little Shavasana. Okay, get nice and comfortable. Maybe you wanna keep your knees bent. Maybe you want to be flat on your back. Or you may wanna come on to your side or possibly a child's pose. Whatever position you find the most relaxing, that's where I want you right now. Focusing on our breath here, 
point you to inhale really slowly nice big breath fill up those lungs and just when you think they're full take one extra sip of air and then a nice big exhale sigh it out through the mouth Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. We put our bodies through a lot throughout the week. It's really important to take time to just slow down and get in a nice full body stretch. I hope you enjoyed this today. I hope you feel good and relaxed. Comment below, let me know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn your notifications on. I'll be back real soon with a brand new workout. Have an awesome day, guys. I'll see you soon.